In this Sunday's gospel, we hear the end of the bread of life discourse. And one of the beautiful things about hearing the end of the bread of life discourse is that, yes, we hear Jesus definitively saying that he is the bread of life, that he is the one that is to be received, that we are to receive his flesh. And one thing that we don't always focus on as Catholics is I love the fact that the Jews actually fight about it. I love the fact that people walk away as a result of it because this was supposed to be hard teaching. It was supposed to be a hard teaching. I think um, I've gotten the chance to just talk to a lot of different people recently, and especially with this summer, with having the Eucharistic Congress, I've talked to different people that they will bring up in confession, they'll bring up at different points about how they struggle with the faith in the Eucharist. And, and I think that it's something to be said that it is something worth struggling over. It's not an easy teaching to think about it. What we see is not necessarily what we're asking and what the Lord is asking us to, to perceive that this is something that we are supposed to have faith in. This is something that we are supposed to recognize and just have a sense of faith in and recognizing like what the Lord is saying is true. But also at the same time, it's so beautiful because I see the people just encountering the Eucharist in such a beautiful way. And I just think about the fact that like, this is a space where the Lord shows his faithfulness. And this is a space where the Lord is saying to us like, hey, I'm here with you, I'm present with you. And sometimes we want the big moment, but it's not about the big moment. And so my challenge, honestly, my challenge for you this week is get to Mass a little early. Spend your time preparing your heart for the Eucharist because this is something that is supposed to challenge us, but it's also the Lord showing us, hey, I'm faithful, I'm here, and I want to show up to you, and I want to put myself before you when you come to receive communion. Prepare your heart to receive the Lord that as you receive him, he may enter you and strengthen you. Strengthen your faith, strengthen your joy, strengthen your life. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.